Hey everybody, Jack and Tony here. I'm at the Dungeon Gym, Gym in St. Louis and I am with IFBB Pro League Classic Physique Superstar, Kevin Ford. How are you doing, Kevin? I'm oh, doing good, Jack. Kevin's coming back, uh, getting back, I, I'm sorry, from the uh, Arnold Classic in Ohio. Uh, his first Arnold invite where he took fifth place. You gotta feel great about that. Oh, I am more than excited. Um, tell everybody a little bit about um, your journey. I know you're excited to be a, a pro in the IFBB Pro League, but a lot of folks don't know your journey. It was a very quick journey uh, as an amateur to the pro ranks. Why don't you let everybody know a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I actually started bodybuilding as a teenager. Uh, got into the gym when I was 12 years old. I was actually just, I was tired of being in the babysitting room uh, while my mom was working out. So <laughs> eventually I made it out to the workout, uh, the workout floor and just started training. Uh, part of it was due to um, being bullied and just wanting to get bigger so that people wouldn't mess with me. And it just turned into a good mix of hard work and genetics to be able to, to build my physique up and then eventually uh, step on stage as a teenager. Uh, once I turned 20, it was quite a big jump in the competition. So I actually took off for quite a while. Came back to the stage in my early 30s. Um, it was the, uh, the Midwest Naturals, which is one of Jack's shows. Uh, stepped back on stage in bodybuilding and won that show uh, as well as the overall. And decided to, to jump on uh, uh, the biggest stage around here, which is the Midwest Championships. And um, first year won the bodybuilding uh, light heavyweight as well as the, the overall there. Uh, and something really awesome happened in the off season that that, that uh, came after that was the announcement of Classic Physique. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with bodybuilding. I was definitely too small to turn pro as a bodybuilder, but Classic Physique just seemed to be right up my alley. So um, the Midwest Championship offered that division the following year. I competed there, well, won the overall in Classic Physique as well as in the bodybuilding and went on to compete at Junior Nationals where I got my pro card with the overall match there. Let me interject for a sure. Uh, you know, your your rise to a top five pro at the Arnold Classic is, is mesmerizing for everybody here locally, but within the country too, because it happens so fast for you. But what I think people need to understand is that, you know, you're, you've got a very strong faith, you donate a lot of your personal time weekly to your faith, and, you, and you're also in the, in the military, you're in the Army, and that, that takes a big part of your life, being married with children, uh, you know, you've got all the great positive things going on in your life that is great for our sport. And, and I remember a conversation you and I had at one point that you know, all you wanted to do, or all you wanted to become, excuse me, was to be an IFBB Pro League Pro. Mm -hmm. And it happened so fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. and, and I'd like to ask you a question. I mean, has anything changed for you since you turned pro? Um, you know, a lot has changed, but I haven't let it change me in any negative way. Um, I think that when you look at all the people that put in the hard work and the effort and, and aren't able to make it there, um, but yet really, really desire to be there, I think that I value um, I value my pro card so much, and I'm so grateful and thankful for it that it really just keeps me grounded, um, knowing that I'm still the same husband, the same father, um, the same staff sergeant in the military that I was before I turned pro. Um, I, I just I don't see any reason to change my view of who I am and how I treat people um, because of the title. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm fortunate. To, to get that title and to be able to compete on the most elite stages in the world and in a sport that I have followed my entire life. And I I don't want to get cocky or big headed about it because it would just take away the beauty of, of everything that's transpired to get there. And, and it, would, it really, I don't see I, that. I happen. feel that my way that I yeah. feel that my view on it. It just I, I continue to soak it in. Yeah, I, I can, can continue to, to soak it in and just really appreciate you know the opportunity. I don't see that happening with you. I mean, uh, I don't do this for everybody, obviously. And I and I, I think one of the things that I wanted 
personally for everybody to see is, is the character of, of Kevin Ford. Uh, you, you know, you're a really good kid. Uh, you're grounded. You're dedicated to your family, your faith. Obviously, the IFBB Pro League, and, and you've come up so quickly uh, in a matter of four shows to take five or fifth place at the Arnold. Most people would start to let that get to them, and you're not. You're you're still the same person. You're you're still there for your clients, for kids. I see it. I hear about it. You're very humble. Uh, and we appreciate that. And, and that's one of the reasons why myself uh, and Ann and everybody else here locally wanted to see if we could do something for you, let everybody see who Kevin Ford was a little bit, and find out what is next. What's going to be next for you, Kevin? Uh, so one of the things that I told myself when I turned pro was that I, I don't want to step on stage again unless I can beat the previous package that I brought. And I was actually prepping for Fargo. I uh, did some analysis on my physique and, and, and some own self critiquing. And I decided that I, I wanted to, to make a few improvements. So I decided to take a few months, step back, um, make those improvements, which I know I can make. Um, from my training that I set up leading into the Arnold, I, I feel like I, there's definitely some areas and as far as for me, are some actually some some fast responding areas in my body that I know I can bring up within the next three months that will bring a better package to stage. I don't feel that it's it's right, uh, and I think that the sport deserves um, athletes who will put in the time to make the changes to be better every time they step on stage. And and that's the type of athlete that I want to be. I, I want the judges to, to see that I've made the improvements, I've made the changes, and I'm not just stepping on stage just to step on stage. So these next three months, uh, I'll be grinding hard to make some improvements so that I can beat the package that I brought to the Arnold, and um, we'll be doing a couple of shows uh, in August. So right. basically three months off from stage, a three months prep, so in, in six months we'll be back on stage. Uh, this is Jack Tony, Kevin Ford for NPC News Online and NPC Midwest.